today at five. Three men reenact the famous escape from Alcatraz, why they are not your typical athletes. For well, three swimmers are remembering the most infamous escape from Alcatraz, but their story is just as interesting. We'll tell you the reason why next. Well, they might not be described as world-class athletes, but three men ranging in age from 46 to 60 mark the anniversary of a prison escape by swimming to Alcatraz from San Francisco. Crown Force Russ Cosimoto caught up with the trio on dry land. Three men are making the mile and a quarter swim from Alcatraz Island to San Francisco. They've endured these frigid waters before. This will be their 500th trip. Gary Emich, Steve Hurwitz, and Pedro Ordenez agreed to make this record-setting crossing together on the 45th anniversary of the 1962 escape by Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers, John and Clarence. The prisoners did have a few more obstacles than these modern-day escapees. The Anglins and Morris spent months planning and digging tunnels with makeshift tools made from stolen prison items. After setting up paper mache masks in their beds to buy themselves extra time, they made their way through the tunnels, onto the roof, and to the water with homemade flotation devices made of glued together raincoats. After that, no one knows what became of the three prisoners. Could they have made it across the bay to the mainland? Yeah, I think they did, with a boat. Um, they never found the bodies. You never, we'll never know. It's one of life's mysteries. Even though they've done it many times before, these swimmers know it can be dangerous. We're crossing a shipping channel, so you have currents going in two different directions, so it's very challenging. The three made the crossing in just under an hour. 60-year-old Ordenis did feel a little pressure to keep up the pace. My pressure was that I'm the grandfather of the group, so I have to catch up with these two young puppies. They'll take a break to rest from this swim, but plan to continue to make this trip from The Rock to San Francisco. This will continue for many years. At Aquatic Park in San Francisco, Russ Katsumoto, Cron 4 News.